Scooby Dooby Doo. There you go, Scoob. Ah, that's so touching. Now go find my key. Shaggy, look out! Scoob, I bet you he won't be showing his face around here anytime soon. Zoinks! Well, will you look at that? Like I think we just found ourselves a clue. Finally. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, hey, you did it. Like, of course. Yeah, of course. Okay, now let's go find the others. A good idea. I'll go with you. Meanwhile, you can take care of those mummies. M -m 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 mummies? What's he talking about? Yikes! <gasps> Thank <laughs> you. 
Great! You found a clue. Come back to see me if you find more clues. Scooby, Shaggy, there you are! I told them all about your cool rescue skills. Don't worry, it's all in here. Real dynamite stuff. So, did you two find any clues? Way to go, guys. At least we know there's someone inside that armor. Meanwhile, Doug has disappeared. Hmm, that's interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. What else did you find? Well, we did find more pages from the Tome of Doom. Chinkies! Shaggy, Scooby, do you guys realize what this means? Like it means we're starving. <laughs> we're so hungry, we're down to eating props. <laughs> no, it means that there's a link to the library case. Jeepers. Don't worry, gang, I've got a plan. Okay, let's run through this one more time. You guys find the knight and trick him into running after you. Then I'll open the drawbridge and he'll follow you into the sci-fi set. Daphne, Velma, and Earl will take it from there. Any questions? Yeah, do we have to? <laughs> Why are you two scared? This time you know that it's a fake monster. And like that's supposed to make me less scared? Who goes running around in a suit of armor? Come on, guys, you'll do fine. He's gaining on us! Run faster, Scoob! Closed. Man, this castle is one big hassle. I'm pretty sure it's this one. You can run, but you cannot hide. Run, Raggy! One more lap! Faster, Scoob! He's right behind us! Run, Raggy!
Ruby do. Now! Let's see who's under that helmet. Er, box. Robert Zabrinsky. I should have known that cat was up to no good. Walter Peabody must have sent him pages from the Tome of Doom to scare away your cast and crew. Knowing that this would force you to sell. And I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for you meddling kids and your pesky dog. How did you figure it out? Well, Shaggy and Scooby's clues steered us in the right direction, but the real clincher was the helmet. Its oversized shape was perfect for the image-conscious Zabrinsky, who could wear it without messing up his impeccable hair. But what about my bro? I'm over here! Zabrensky ambushed me and wrapped me in these... You scoundrel! Have you any idea how much these mummy costumes cost? That was some great detective work. Even better than in The Big Nap or Death on the Rhine. Say, have any of you ever thought of being in pictures? You know, you'd make a great damsel in distress. Well, now that you mention it... What about me? Uh, well, we always need riders. And what about us? Like, can we do the catering? <laughs> Actually, I had something better in mind. And action! <sighs> like, isn't this the best of happy endings, Scoob, old pal? Scooby dooby doo! Yeah. 